English language writers, when they write Viking characters, often write only of their fearsomeness, but never really consider what drove these men and women into the boats and out to sea. Was Scandinavia an easy place to live in the Viking Age? Well, going back to what I said a bit before, you know, what stopped the kind of uh, habit of raiding, I think something terrible happened in Scandinavia, say somewhere around 530 or so. And it was a kind of a perfect storm, I think. First, there was a big volcanic explosion somewhere in the Northern Hemisphere, which threw a great deal of ash into the air and everybody suffered. But Scandinavia, with its short growing season and kind of marginal agriculture, well, I think maybe 50% of the population died of famine. And there were other disasters which were going on at the same time. So for, I think, several hundred years, the, uh, the Scandinavians couldn't raise the strength to uh, uh, start going Viking. Uh, but when they did, uh, well, I think there would be pretty powerful reasons for uh, uh, raiding and then for settling in uh, much richer countries. Mm. Um, and that that was really, I think it was, a, it, was, it was really in a way a poor person's phenomenon. Hmm. I, I tried to work out once, you know, um, what was the take on a Viking expedition? And I, I, I forget the actual figures, but I, I thought that, uh, you know, a, a young chap from, uh, from Denmark with no prospects, younger son, he might well come back with, you know, uh, a thousand silver pennies. Well, with a thousand silver pennies, he could probably set himself up with a, a farm and a wife and a couple of cows, you know, uh, and he might do better than that. He might, he might come back really rich. So um, most of these uh, piratical activities, I think, are carried out by people who don't have many other options. Mm. <laughs> you know, this dangerous and difficult business and the risks are pretty bad. But I think uh, Vikings heard the word reward pretty well, but they didn't hear the word risk very well at all. You could see what the forces were uh, on them to, mm. to go out Viking used as an adjective, uh, Viking used as a verb. Yes, that's right. Uh, which is, which is, is what they did too, use it as a verb. Yes, I'm afraid it's obviously a, a high risk, high reward business. And uh, the high rewards actually show up very well in the kind of hordes which have been found, especially on the island of Gotland off the Swedish coast, which was obviously a kind of base for people going down river to uh, Byzantium and to uh, the Arab lands beyond, because they found hundreds of hordes of silver buried in the ground. I mean, something like one for every farmstead on the island. And given that uh, hordes are usually buried in order to be recovered, uh, the fact that there's so many which never got recovered makes you wonder quite how much money there was. Or how risky the business of it was. Yes, yes. But obviously there are quite a lot of people who came back home and did pretty well out of it, even if something happened after that. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, that Arab money got everywhere. I mean, uh, just not 15 miles from me, about three miles from me, somebody dug up an Arab dirham uh, uh, from uh, near the abbey there. How it got there, I've no idea.